Tony, did you know that this mouthwash works because the alcohol within it kills the bacteria by penetrating the cell wall and doing stuff? You do it here, get out! Maybe an extremely dangerous solution you're about to drink right here. Let me test it out for how acidic it is. Dude, this is 10,000 times as acidic as water. How could you be drinking this during the morning? Seriously, you should be drinking water every day instead. Yeah, yes. Oh, here's a nice bagel here. Oh, uh, you know, like all the food, all the food, like the glucose and energy that you take in every single day, it all comes as a result of photosynthesis. And afterwards, when you take the bagel, take a bite, your body absorbs all the nutrients, and then afterwards, I'm gonna back to school now. Combustion. Combustion. Wait, Tony! I'm going to school too! Parts from that piece you just ate to create energy. And a lot of that energy is released as heat, causing your body temperature to go up and making you sweat. But don't worry, Tony, because of water's extremely strong intermolecular forces, the sweat has a high heat of vaporization, allowing it to absorb a ton of energy before evaporating, making your body more down. And this all can happen because of. Combustion. Wait, stop. Tony, you, you gotta wear these gloves. The water's extremely high. They will burn your hands if you go. Also, put these goggles on. What are you doing without goggles? Tony, I've got a poem for water. It's 
called O to the Water by Alan Chen. Water, water, everywhere. The universal solvent, yet without a scent. A homogeneous solution to the problem of pollution. How beautiful it is. Yep, it is. Wait, Tony! So, Tony, what are you doing after school? Uh, I'm going to bed. Cool story, bro. I'm following you.